well, well, well. This is it guys, F1 2016. I have finally got it on the PlayStation 4, the first ever next generation console gameplay for you guys on my YouTube channel. It is Formula 1 2016 as I mentioned before, and we're here with the first ever recorded race that I did on this game. I'm really looking forward to how this turns out for you guys because this is a new start for me in terms of my channel because it's got nowhere lately. So hopefully this gameplay is going to really wrap that back up. So we're here with a quick race here on F1 2016. And as you can see we already did one before but that wasn't completed. And we're going to be driving the Austrian Grand Prix at the Red Bull Ring in the Force India of Sergio Perez. As we go scrolling towards all the teams or through all the teams to the Force India. Click on Sergio Perez. And adjust the setting to be five laps. It will be clear conditions. And hope and all the assists off. Legend AI. And hopefully we'll be ready to start this one. Let's get onto the track. For the first ever race on F1 2016. Let's go. Welcome to the Austrian Grand Prix here in Spielberg. It's race day and the cars are already on the grid as the drivers complete their final preparations ahead of lights out. The Red Bull ring then, 700 meters above sea level. This tough circuit may only have nine corners, but they're fast and they're bumpy. It's a true test for any racing driver. We have two DRS zones and watch out for overtakes into turn two as the uphill entry helps those trying to be the last of the late breakers steam up the inside. So as we look ahead to what I hope will be a very entertaining race, I have to ask Anthony Davidson what you expect to see in terms of strategy today. I mean, do you expect a lot of tyre management? A lot of fuel management? Well, don't we always? I don't expect these are going to be any more important than usual if I'm honest. What I do expect, however, are a lot of drivers getting into the pits early for some kind of undercut on fresh rubber. If you can pit before the person in front, have a good stop and drive a blistering outlap, there may be one or two seconds to be gained. If anyone gets stuck behind another car, for example, that will be the go-to strategy, surely. OK, the run into turn one isn't too long, so the pack will... So before the off, Let's remind ourselves of yesterday's qualifying session with a look at the starting grid. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position with Nico Rosberg alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid we have Vettel, Verstappen, Daniel Ricciardo and Raikkonen, Bottas, Massa, Perez and Daniel Kvyat, Hülkenberg, Button, Roman Grosjean and Alonso, Sainz, Magnussen, Jolian Palmer and Esteban Gutierrez, NASA and Ericsson, Pascal Wehrlein and Rio Harianto completes the grid. So here we are on the grid for the first ever race on Formula 1 2016 here in Sergio Perez's Force India like I just mentioned before here at the Austrian Grand Prix. But the first time we use the manual starts function as well so that would be pretty, pretty interesting so we're waiting for the five red lights to go out here. For the first time in Formula 1 2016 on the PS4. And we're away here. Pretty good manual start for the first time ever. Pretty good start as well from pretty much everyone down the field. As you can see Hamilton leading after turn one. We're trying to go around the outside of, I believe that was Massa. Get the move stuck there. And now we're trying to pass Daniel Fiat in the Toro So We know the AI on Legend are actually pretty racy on this game. As I've heard from many other YouTube videos that I watch. Given some space for Jensen Button there, he doesn't take it. Yellow flag behind. I have no idea why, but uh, we'll continue on anyway. As we can see, there's a battle going on in front of us between Daniel Kvyat and Kimi Raikkonen. So Ferrari versus Toro Rosso. There's a bit of contact there. As they go side by side through this long section, which you wouldn't expect any AI to go side by side for. And they're still side by side, but Raikkonen gets in front there. Wow, that's then in the AI this year is pretty interesting. We've got another battle as we can see on the replay camera here with Nico Rosberg and Sebastian Vettel. This is on the same lap so we didn't see this and they're going side by side as well for the same section that Raikkonen and Kvyat have gone through. Rosberg getting the edge over Vettel there and I think he's made a move stick. Yes he does so the AI 
very impressive this year from what I can see. Anyway, but now we skip on to lap number two now and we're trying to get past Daniel Fiat here. We get a good amount of traction on the exit. Fiat gets a poor exit there and we're going side by side with him. Coming in towards the next corner. Can we make the move stick? Not quite. Fiat just late on the brakes there. We need to be careful from behind. we got Jensen Button. I believe our teammate Nico Hulkenberg is also behind us as well. Now, lap number, lap number three. Button tries to make him move on the outside there of turn three. But he does make the move stick. He gets poor traction. McLaren Honda not good on traction or in the straight line. And we keep the place for now. But we got to be aware that Button might have an attack into this section here. The AI are pretty strong here. I'm pretty weak around this section. And will Button make a move? I think he is making a move. And there's a touch there. Button has made contact with rear there. And he's got a little bit of front wing damage. So that's going to allow Hulkenberg through. Let's just skip on to lap number four now. Kvyat has got away from us, unfortunately. So it's Hulkenberg who's behind us, like I said before. So it is Hulkenberg chasing us down. So our teammates actually having more pace than us, it seems. As we just get a little bit of oversteer on the curb there. Those curbs, very realistic on this game. And Hulkenberg is trying to make him run the outside. It's a four your battle here between the two drivers. Still side by side. And into the next corner. Hulkenberg trying to hold it around the outside. I think he's just not quick enough on the exit. And we stay in front. But lap number five now. Start number five. Hulkenberg not done yet. He's still right behind us. As he's... We go on to lap number five, like I just mentioned. Hulkenberg trying to go around to say he backs out of it. Meanwhile, we've got yellow flags. Massa is out the Grand Prix, apparently. And that's a huge accident between both the Williams and Kimi Raikkonen. So what's happened here? We have a look up for Felipe Massa. And he smashes into Raikkonen. And he's out of the Grand Prix. Now have a look at Bottas. He gets attacked by Ricardo. He spins round. And on Raikkonen's POV... Raikkonen hits the back of Bottas, goes backwards, and Massa had nowhere to go but straight to the back of him. So, crazy crash there. One I've never seen on F1 game before, which is pretty rare. Meanwhile, last lap, Lewis Hamilton becomes the first winner on my Formula 1 game on 2016. Great blue for him. We lose the place to Hulkenberg on the exit. We get more oversteer. Kvyat tries to get past us. He does, but apparently we stay in 8th position, so... Have no idea what happened there, but wow, what a first race that was. I'm actually sweating after that. And I did use a flashback, unfortunately, just in the last lap, because Hawking actually made contact with me, but I didn't show you that, as Lewis Hamilton celebrates his win. Nice cut scenes this year. They're actually much better than F1 2015. The game, I don't actually have, apparently. I actually didn't buy F1 2015, which is why I left it to 2016. For the PS4 and the actual game itself. As we can see on the podium, we got Hamilton in first, Rosberg second, and Vettel in third. So I think that's the same as the grid, I believe. I think it is. As Hamilton collects his trophy, the cutscenes. It was a little more similar to 2015 here, but unfortunately, we can't really mention that much about that. <sighs> I'm losing words, actually, because what a race that was. I deserve that 8th place. So let's have a look at race this results. Sounds so we got Hamilton, Hamilton Rosberg and Sebastian Vettel, the top 3 there. The as we finish 8th behind Nico Hülkenberg. Button and Lodz also getting points. Both McLarens in the points. Who would have thought that? As we look down the rest of the field, we can see just what happened there. And surprisingly, I think we saw quite a few penalties in this race. Let's have a look down at the order now. So Gutierrez, Palmer, Max and Verline, Harry Anton, Nasser. And actually, Bottas got no penalty, but Grosjean and Raikkonen did. And Massa obviously DNF, like I said before, but wow, that was a crazy race. So if you enjoy it first race, smash that like button as best as you can. Hopefully there'll be more content coming soon on this game and in other games. Because I'm trying to get this YouTube channel back underway. Like and subscribe if you're new around here. I'll be with you very soon. Goodbye.